Hey guys and girls, hello and welcome. This is Chaotic here. We're going to be looking at how to play the Wraith. I'm going to give you some hints and the tips on playing the Wraith because he needs all the help you can get, let me tell you. So we're going to show you my build and show you a couple of gameplays. So first up, we are running Sloppy Butcher. Survivors bleed in frequency and causes the mangled state's effect. Basically, if you hit them, they get a 25% longer to heal. Shadowborn makes your field of view is tremendously wider than normal on tier 3. Help you a lot. Hex Ruin, self-explanatory, try and slow the game down at the beginning. Gives you a little chance to locate the survivors. Barbecue and Chili, again, when you hook someone, you can see anyone more than 40 metres away and you get 25% stackable bonus at the end of the game on blood points. And we are going to use the all seeing. I am running the 8 meter all seeing. When you're cloaked, you can see uh, auras of survivors running 8, eight meters. And the swift hunt reduces the race reappearance time when you're coming out of cloak. So you're going to want to run swift hunt and all seeing. I'm going to show you some of the other all seeings you can use. The best one is the all seeing spirit. It'll give you a 12 meter range, but I don't actually run that in these two games. And the other one is a 10 meter range, but I'm running the 8 meter range for you on these two games. Okay, guys and girls, let's give you some hints and tips for the Wraith. First hint and tip, when Ruin is up, you're going to try and get around the map locate a survivor ASAP because you don't know how fast ruin is going to last so stay in cloak sneak around go generator to generator we need to try and get a uh, one or two survivors hit and with it all seeing we'll see the aura on this one so stay out of view with a cloak because they want to wait which direction you're coming from that would be a good little tip for you we've got another one there We're being swarmed on this one, so we're just gonna try and shoo these guys away. Spreading the sloppy butcher about now, 25% longer on the heel. So you had a hit and miss on with the wreath. Sorry, hit and run. You want to spread out the pain and keep constantly moving. I saw one run this way, so I'm just going to see whether they've uh, dispersed. We're not going to camp the hook, we're going to go cloak. Kick a few generators. Just slow down the uh, repair process. They're working on a couple by here, so I know there's probably a couple nearby. So we can use the all seeing now. Anyone within 8 metres, there we go, there's two of them showing up. Spread the sloppy butcher around. Until they're healed, they will take 25% longer. Okay, we have a bit of borrowed time here. So, we're going to try and hit anyone that comes nearby. You know this one's going to drop shortly. But you'll see a lot more blood. She's coming into play. I don't know what she's up to. She's trying to get me to chase her, but uh, nah, you're okay. So she's going to take quite a few seconds longer to, to heal up. There goes Ruin. It's done its job though, we've got me a couple of um, hits. If you lose track of the survivor, go and cloak. Because they will show up within 8 metres. If you can put the 10 or 12 metre on, even better. And when you're in cloak, they've got no terror radius. So there's a lot of mind games with the Wraith. Strength of the Wraith obviously is when you're cloaked, you're not invisible, you can still, you can still see your, your glimmer. So I'm just checking, there we go. I knew she's going to be nearby. So the other one's been unhooked now. Here we go, a little bit of spin first day, I believe. So 
So we've got two injured and one going on the hook. It's still a barbecue event at the moment, so I'm going to go around. I didn't want to go through that pallet in case I had somebody waiting. Let's take a little look around with barbecue and chili. I'd like to see two of them far side. Give that Jenna a little kick so it's regressed. How are you going to keep the pressure on? Um, I wouldn't recommend staying near the hook. She's going to be pushed away a bit now. Which way is she going? Okay, she may get to a pallet. Good dodge. There is quite a bit of good dodging in this game. And I think the next game as well. So weaknesses of the Wraith, he can be looped yeah. like a lot of killers. I can I know this generator near me is nearly quite high up the list, it's nearly completed. So I'm gonna give that a boot before we do anything. And we're not gonna stay near, like I said, the hook, we're gonna push on. It's like it, you've gotta put the pressure on. Keep the pressure on. I know there's someone on this gen. I, I can hear we're actually working on it. I believe the two games you're going to see are a session with friends, at least three of them. So they're all working together. Be careful if you drop someone near the pallet in case their friends are nearby for the for the pallet scene. Get out of there quickly. You can look, search lockers and kick gens when you're cloaked. You will have, you will give a temporary heartbeat to the survivors, but it's only temporary. So I'm going to go back to the other generator because I'm guessing they're going to be working on it. Yep, yeah, there we go. Pulled her off because she's trying to get the gen done. Get her on as quickly as possible. Go back, kick the gen, and then we're going to go rinse and repeat. I've done many different wraith builds, many different combinations, and for me, the Sloppy Butcher Ruin Shadowborn Barbecue is by far the most competitive. Don't expect the run to build and just destroy everyone because the wraith's not built like our wraith is widely regarded as one of the weakest killers for a reason. But you've got to put out in their minds. That is the whole name of the game. Now they're going back that generate, I'm I know that. She's gonna check the pallet down. Just missed the long ranger. Still got two injured. Let's see if I can see the orbs. There's one. You can hide. Now we've got to watch the one in the in, with the with the torch, she could go for the sea. Can, can we make the hook? So we've had quite a few hooks, and we have only lost one generator at the moment. So she's out the game. Barbecue and chili now is showing me that there's two of them far side. Look for the scratch marks. There we go. Dish out the sloppy barbecue ASAP. I'm going to leave her go. So she's just going to take me round and round up the steps. We're going to go back to the generators. Good dodge. Then goes the pallet. Let me give the Jan a kick before we before we move on. You've got to get inside the survivors' heads. Make them doubt if it's safe for them to actually repair. Make them creep around the map instead of running around freely. So, something's going on over this side. Okay, we've got the three of them together.
Go down the pallet, thank you. Break pallets as soon as you can with a wraith, it's one of his main weaknesses. Follow the blood trails, because uh, the wraith has a built in blood hound. Oh, I'm on you. Good dodging. The one uh, time, I think it's three or four hits I missed. This might be it, actually. Got one in there. See that blood all over the floor because you get more blood with Sloppy Butcher. You know they're going to sew the pallet down, so. That's it for the game there, it's a smash. We'll sh she dead hard it out of that, very good timing. One again. Now we're going to check we're actually above the um, the basement here, which we are. Might be able to make it. Oh. She's pushing it. It's going to be close, this one. Straight into Cloak. Like I say, 90% of my time as a Wraith will be in Cloak. Unless you're chasing. Keeping on top of gens is a uh, very high priority. Now, we're going to follow a couple over here. Yeah, they know the one in the basement now needs to be saved. Nope, that pallet can't save you. If she is saved in the basement, they've got quite a long time to heal. And they didn't actually make it. So, now they've repaired two generators. we got to locate the other survivor. Scratch marks on the floor find them before they find the hatch scratch marks everywhere so I'm on their tail there we go I said a flashlight queen Claudette what are you up to and we're going to wrap this game up if we can find a hook, we're quite a distance away. Can we make the basement? Fighting that uh, wriggle. So that's out the game. The flashlight girl. So there's uh, game number one. Gonna go around and kick any jags. Quite an open map, so I, I was happy with that. Plenty of points. It's still the summer barbecue event, so there's extra points if you use the barbecue invites. So use them up, guys and girls. Comfortable double pip. Forty seven K nice level rank five in there. Stopped them doing a lot. So there is a uh, game number one for you guys and girls.
So, game number two on Auto Haven Wreckers. Again, straight in the cloak, you automatically cloak anyway. Unless ruins right near you, just don't worry about it. You can you can try and protect your totem, but it's unlikely once they see it. I got ruin up ahead. Let's try and shake these away from ruin. Okay, she's probably seen it now. So we're going to try and get near as far away from ruin as possible. And hope that she hasn't seen it. So, as normal, she has now got the affliction of Sloppy Butcher, 25% longer time to heal. If you check my channel, I've actually put a video with evidence up with a friend doing Sloppy Butcher test with uh, again healed with, with Sloppy Butcher and with eight, and it's quite a few seconds longer. Okay, she's giving me the runaround. Is she going to throw the pallet down? Yes, she is. Okay, I'm going to try and get the hit on her if possible. We'll trade that stun. Again, hit her. She's now preoccupied with healing. We've given the generator a kick in the meantime as well. So we're going to pop it on the hook. Treat the Wraith as a hit and run type killer. Straight in cloak. I'm going to try and locate. There we go. She's taken a long time. Just missed on that. So we're going to get rid of this pallet now. She was probably self-caring that whole time, and as you see, she is still not healed. So Detective Tap wants to come and play now, so we will give him something to think about. I can hear... that she's in pain. There's a couple of them running main injured now. Good dodge. That was good work. They really make me work in this game. Never fear, I'll we'll catch you in the end. And they're starting to heal up now. So, the way to think about it, when they're healing up, they're not repairing generators. So you're slowing the game down in that aspect. So, any sort of Give that a kick. You need to keep on top of your generators, guys. Just keep an eye that Ruin. I'm surprised Ruin is still up, actually. Okay, I heard Tap go past. One was decoying me, and the other one was... Check it down. Detective Tap gives me a little tea bag. I can hear someone on the gen. So I'm going to turn around and change my mind. Go away from the gen. So we're going to get hurt if possible. Wow. She seems to pee. I don't know if she's four times. Finally, I don't know what happened with the other one. She seemed to get out of the way. Jenna, kick before we do anything. Now we're going to pop her on the nearest hook. 
At the moment, we're still running five gens. They're going to start popping soon because they're going around the map. You know, somebody's over here. Detective Tap. Welcome to the party. Give me a little tea bag just now, so we'll try and get you on the hook. The blue hooks are the barbecue summer invites. Welcome, Nia. You want to come and join the fun? Let's play. Again, spreading the brutality. I know her palette is broken now. Just missed her. Lost sight of her. So go into cloak, look for the blood marks on the floor. And if she's nearby, she will show up. She has retreated. I saw someone in the distance there. Don't be afraid to move across the map like I'm doing here. Okay, scratch marks. I know that somebody is nearby. Okay, the first gen is popped. Straight on, hook as fast as possible. First one out of the game. Let's see one, two, three of them far side of the map. Give the giant another kick. If, if it if you kick it, it'll start regressing on its own. So I know they're around this area somewhere. So stay in cloak so they have no idea. There's one. Tap the tap tea bag in. Where you going, detective? She run out the pallets this end. Let me make a blue hook. Extra points. Straighten the cloak. Though they're playing with ruin. Get her off. Straight in the cloak. Look for, look on the floor. Blood marks. Red blood marks. Just come right the way across the map. There's our other. Survivor. Kick that, get out the game. Uh. 
Yeah, there's quite a looping spot here. Just gotta hope for the best. Bloodlust is now kicking in. Nice move. So we have one injured, one gonna go on the hook and one healthy. There's no hook nearby, so I'm going to leave her on the floor for a bit. The hook has already been destroyed. Something like, oh, there we go, detective tap, teabagging. Got the pallet. So they're probably overhealing the other one now, but it's taking their time up. Pop him on. She's now being healed up. But we're not too worried about that. That's taken two of them out of the game, one healing, one on the floor. Last two left. Loop de loop again. Unlucky, I have another pallet in. Another pallet out. Ruin is finally down at this stage of the game. Not a big problem, with only two survivors left. See all the blood squirting out. Here we go again, loop de loop. And lucky ducky, you've used all the pallets. Now I could leave her on the floor and try and find the other one, but the way I look at it is they've only got four gens, so the power is still in my hands. Fast side trying to get a generator down quickly. Oh, it's nearly done as well. Looks as though she's probably heading back towards the hook. Yep, there we go, we can see her. See if we can get this one out of the game. Let's pop you back on, my darling. She's out of the game and she has now rushed back to the generator she was on. So the chances are now she's going to be running away. There we go. There's no hatch opening because they haven't done four gens. That's uh, sorry, two gens. So she's got nowhere to go as long as I can keep track of her. I 
and not lose line of sight. Ah, she runs into a tree. <laughs> Probably turn around looking at me. So we're just gonna pop you on and that is the game I wrapped up. No 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 no. So quick recap. Ray hints and tips video. You've seen my lineup, Sloppy Butcher, Shadowborn, Ruin and Barbecue and Chili. You're gonna be wanna run in the all C and add-on, 8, 10. There is a 6 meter one, but I wouldn't recommend that. You're looking at 8, 10, 12 meters. And you wanna be using the swift hunt add-on that can make the cloak a bit faster. There's a yellow variant which is uh, gives you a moderate uh, can make the cloak faster. Uh, we got the, the summer barbecue uh, Billy hammer. So if you're going to use the wraith, this is what I would recommend, and with the agreed tactics, hit and run, spread the sloppy butcher around, keep moving, keep kicking gens, and just try and keep the pressure on them, guys. Best way I can describe the wraith. He is weak in ways, but you can still have fun with him. Good luck guys, hope I've helped in some ways. If I have, please give me a like and I'll catch you very soon. Thanks guys.